Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Arias, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in this video, we are discussing the podium vehicle for this week, the Ocelot XA21. Now, this video, we go over the performance, we go over customization, and whether or not I recommend that you buy this vehicle if you cannot win it from the podium casino wheel. All right, so. Before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy it, alright? If you can't win it, you can find it in Legendary for $2,375,000. That's a whole lot of money, okay? Let's get into the customization first. So, you got the typical basic stuff. We'll go through the brakes there. You got some bumpers you can take a look at. Nothing too crazy with the bumpers. Let me just go ahead and start out by saying this is a beautiful car. It's gorgeous. It looks really, really nice. I like it a lot. And it does have some good customizable options. Now, of course, for over $2.3 million, I wish it had much more customization. I wish you could take this into Benny's but it does have a couple of cool features that other cars don't. You got the engine block upgrades that you can do. And it's something weird with the engine block, and I'll come back this, to this in just a moment, but um, this affects your traction. Yeah, the engine block affects your traction for some reason. Now, the stat says that you know the, the vehicle comes with a uh, adaptive spoiler. It comes with an active spoiler, I should say, actually. Um, so it's one of those spoilers where the faster you go, it will lift up out of the actual vehicle itself. So, you know, you have to dig into the coding for that to figure out. But you do have a stat representation for the engine block to, you know, I guess, adjust your traction. So make sure you at least put some. And, and if you have this car, you're going to want to customize the engine block anyways okay now moving on exhaust you have 15 different exhausts to choose from a lot of cool options right there uh, you got the dual exit exhaust the quadrant proximate you got the triple octo the painted triple octo the triple chrome cover etc right and they all have really nice kind of uh you know designs to them some have the ocelot logo some don't and i appreciate that that's really cool with your grill, you can go with the old school, you know, billet grills. Uh, you can go with something that's like the speed grills. The 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 difference is the the billet grills have like the the uh, horizontal bars that go across, and the speed grills are more like the mesh design. That's you know typically what they look like. Some have the Ocelot logo, some don't. I would have liked to see more of like a painted type kind of billet grill. That would have been clean, but we don't have that. 14 different hoods you can go between again just like all the other vehicles you've got you know kind of like uh the the carbon you have a painted secondary but with this vehicle you do have more options to go with each one of those so that's really cool i do like that i appreciate that a lot i don't like seeing two different hoods you know there's 14 options but there's only like two or three you know they're all just one secondary one's primary one's carbon it's kind of you know uh, it's kind of a uh, easy way out for rock stars so to speak hey but um <laughs> anyways though you got some mirror options you can take care of right there adjust those of course you have your license plates i've had a lot of people ask me about the license plates you have to have the ifruit app to be to adjust those and for some reason i think for a lot of people they don't work anymore or something like that but just give it a shot just go and download the ifruit app on your phone and uh mine mine still works uh it, it's buggy but it does work. But for some people, I think they said that it doesn't work for them. You just have to give it a shot yourself and try it out. Worst case scenario, just delete the app if it's not working for you. All right. Of course, people, you know, in the past have used the iFruit app to do glitches and things like that. So, of course, Rockstar is going to restrict it and it kind of ruins it for everybody. So, womp, womp. All right. Uh, you got roofs on there. You got this weird little vortex generators that you can put on there. I don't really fool with those for some of my cars. You got some skirts you can put on there as well gotta have your lady going out looking nice you know what i'm saying gotta have your girl looking good in the skirt you know what i'm saying yeah baby <laughs> oh my god anyways though uh yeah a couple different options with those right there of course you have your suspension options definitely will help out with certain things with cornering and stuff like that lower center of gravity your transmission your turbo your basic performance stuff you absolutely want to add that on there if you have this vehicle i mean it really does make a big difference 
with your wheels. Um, I, you know, honestly, I like how they, I wish that Rockstar would add more, you know, we got the new street wheels that came in and why can't we get more of this kind of stuff? I love it. It's really nice. The street wheels, you get a combination of, uh, you know, like muscle and sport and then high end all together in that category. You got some nice deep dish rims on there as well. Eight inch and nine inch dishes on there. And that's really cool. You got to have that. Man. I wish we'd have more options. Like this, this game has been out for what, seven years now. We have, we just, for the very first time, got like, uh, a, a rim upgrade just, you know, not too long ago, a couple months ago. So it is what it is though. No big deal. But yeah, decent amount of upgrades. I wish I could have a lot more for this vehicle for the price, right? So let's take a look at the doors popping up. This looks really clean. I love the way this looks. It does. You can see the engine compartment. Um, it is all-wheel drive, and that does make it a, a difference on its handling and its performance, which we're about to get into right now. Here we go. Top speed, straight line. So the XA21 has some of the best acceleration in the game. This car, you know, acceleration is only you know you can only compete with this vehicle in acceleration with electric vehicles in this game right around a track it is very very good it handles great it will go in and out of corners very well the only problem with the xa21 the thing that holds this vehicle back and keeps it from being a dominant vehicle it's top end speed it doesn't have good top end speed after that initial zero to 60 that eighth mile it just sputters out. So it was never a viable option for uh, for uh, super class races. Even on smaller tracks, it's not going to be your best option because of some of the electric vehicles that are in the game. And that kind of is a bummer. But the XA21 is a beautiful car. It's one of the best sounding vehicles in the game. So do I recommend that you buy this? I can't. Not at that price. Not You won't make any money back on it. But I absolutely do recommend it if you just got money to blow. It's is a it's a must-have luxury. It's a must-have collector's vehicle. But you know, is it a must-have overall? No, sorry. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the ills and reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah, yeah.